trust nobody. Oh no, nah, nah. this vest protect my body. Oh no, nah, nah. yo, what's good, yeah, family? Let's go. Hey, I think I switch it up a little bit. You know, try something different. Uh, I'm gonna do a Q and A. I know y'all been asking me tons and tons of questions for like months now, and it's been so many comments that I can't even answer all of them. So I figured I just go through and pick randomly you know what i'm saying and see you know and make a video and put all your questions in the video and if y'all like this video i could do more more like this so you can get to know me type you know what i'm saying i know some of y'all already know me but the newer family members that you know what i'm saying they just now starting to get to know me so i figured i just put a put together q a video so yeah let's go all right first question is the itadori jacket that you had on in your jujitsu kaisen videos did you make it or did you order it so i'm assuming you talking about this this jacket is actually um it's a cosplay so i um i ordered this this is my first cosplay as you know yuji um i made a whole vlog about the first con i went to and also the second con i went to and also too i think i'm a um i think i'm gonna drop a video of me rating uh, cosplays that I saw, you know, from like one through 10. And, uh, you know, yeah, so this this is actually a cosplay. I um I ordered this from Amazon and uh, yeah, it was dope. I had pretty, I had fun. But yeah, I do want to uh, cosplay. I do want to cosplay again. I just don't know who though. I think the next one I'm gonna cosplay might be Robin. And it might be either Tim Drake, Robin, or Damian Wayne. One of the two. <laughs> but yeah, this is the cosplay. You know what I'm saying? This is Yuji. I don't got the pants on. I just threw on the jacket. But yeah, I like it though. It's just that this part right here is a little um, it's a little lightweight. I wish it was like a, uh, a thicker hood. You know what I'm saying? But it got the job done. It got the, you know what I'm saying, the vision. It got the vision done. So yeah. Yeah, this is a little cosplay, you know. And it's not, it's like a, it's like a hood slash like, like scarf. Like, you know what I'm saying? It ain't no hood hood. I wish it was a hood, a hood. You know what I'm saying? But it got the job done. Shout out Kona. Yeah, shout out Kona. Next question is, uh, how the fuck can you get famous on TikTok? <laughs> so I get this question a lot. So I give you some advice. Um, The first advice is, post regularly just keep posting post 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 right but also just find your niche what you enjoy doing the most and just post it you know what i'm saying and it's an audience for everybody if you feel like that you don't have a certain type of audience trust me it's an audience for everybody on tiktok tiktok booming just find what you enjoy doing the most and just post it. Oh, just be consistent too. You know what I'm saying? Be be consistent. Um, enjoy doing what you're doing. You know what I'm saying? Find your passion. And, you know, whether it's drawing, making skits, you know, comedy, music, whatever it is, if, if it's your passion, just post it. And post a process too. People love seeing the process of how you making it, so yeah shout out moon gaming and music shout out panda lover so how old would you be in 15 years well i'm 300 so 315 <laughs> next question uh random edits what is the coolest thing you ever own so the coolest thing i ever own real for real is this ipad this ipad right here this is what got me um mainly to where i'm at today like um because i used to draw a lot so well I, I still draw and i make art so when i first joined tiktok um i was doing like little rant videos little skit videos but my backgrounds really is art so i drew you know what i'm saying all my life and when i got the tablet i was like boy let me get into digital art so I got into digital art and then what I did was I just um, did free commissions, like free commissions. Like I didn't even care. It was just for the fact that I had so much fun drawing and that right there uh, allowed me to connect with a lot of people that I met through TikTok and other places. 
that tablet um allowed me to work with you know artists like Lil Nas X and some some other artists I can't name but yeah I you know I'm I drew I drew uh four pieces for him and he brought all of it all from that tablet so it might be just the littlest things you know what I'm saying that could take you a long way next question is shout out Joseph he said what is your favorite anime and show us your favorite scene from that anime so my favorite anime is Naruto hands down Naruto bro is like <laughs> so special I can't even name I can't even name a favorite scene from that show I'm gonna just get y'all fat. I'm, I'm gonna try to get y'all five of my favorite <laughs> scenes with that show, right? All right, so in OG Naruto, my one of my favorite scenes is, of course, Rock Lee versus God, right? That's one. I'm gonna give y'all something from Shipp uh, Shippuden. Uh, Sasuke, when Sasuke, when Sasuke pulled up to the uh, the Kage Summit, right? When this dude pulled up and stood on the ceiling, and look down on Donzo and everybody in there like he wanted all the smoke, bro. After he just ran the fade with everybody else before that, man, y'all cannot tell me that Jane was not hard, bro. Like you cannot tell me that scene was not hard because it shows you that Sasuke was so determined, like nothing was holding him back, bro. I swear, like that was Sasuke was on demon time, bro. <laughs> I still remember that scene, and every time I watch that scene, I get chills. So that's two. On um, the third one, man, I'm not even gonna say Naruto versus Sasuke, cause I feel like that's like that's like standard. You know what I'm saying? I ain't gonna say that. I'm gonna say the other scenes that I really enjoy. So number three, man, I'm gonna have to go with Naruto befriended Kurama. That scene sent chills down, my, especially when when Naruto came through and saved Kakashi and Guy, and Kakashi thought that Naruto was Minato, bro. I was like, yo, that Jay sent chills down my whole body, bro. I was like, nah, that's tough, that's tough. My boy Naruto is the goat. All right, that's three, so four. So, okay, I'm gonna say Naruto wedding, right? Naruto wedding. I'm gonna say anytime, I'm gonna say any any scene with Naruto dealing with Iruka, Iruka sensei and Jiraiya has to be like, like top tier scenes, bro. Like the fact that Naruto asked Iruka sensei to be his dad for the wedding, what, bro, what? I legit cried. <laughs> bro, I cried, bro, I cried. Any, bro, I'm t it's hard to choose, bro. So number five, I'm gonna actually go with Boruto. I know Boruto is Boruto, this show, right? I'm gonna do all of Naruto. Boruto is Boruto. But I will say when Naruto and Kurama uh fused, you know, fused Chakra and he was fighting, he was fighting Ishiki. And you know, you already know Bar Bariamo uh Naruto, hands down. I uh, have you watched uh shout out uh Miracle Maiden. Have you watched Magi? Yes, I have watched Magi, and I ain't gonna lie to you. Magi is not it for me. I don't know what it is, bro. It's like I start Magi and like halfway I get to the same episode and I just stop every time, bro. I know it's, you know what I'm saying? I know Sinbad is supposed to be a dog muck, you know what I'm saying? But I just can't, I, I, I can't get into none of the, you know what I'm saying? Magi, I can't get into it. All right, shout out Reddit. Um, what should I do? I'm going to tell you what you can do. You can sell it to the channel, you can buy my merch, and you can follow me on TikTok and run the videos up. That's what you can do for me, for the family, for the Yen family. <laughs> Have you seen Attack on Titan? Okay, story time on Attack on Titan, right? I watched Attack on Titan when it first dropped, 2013. I remember, right? Most of the people don't even remember when Hulu was streaming but Hulu still streaming anime, but all anime on Hulu was free. I'm talking about every time when I mention this to people, they can't remember, but this is how you know, you know what I'm saying? People are anime head for real, for real. But yo, Hulu had free anime. And it what they used to do, they had like on the homepage, right? They used to have like spring, winter, summer, fall, right? 
Same, like it is show all the enemies lined up for that season. Same, something similar to like today, but all of that shit was for free. So Attack on Titan appeared up there. I was like, okay. I used to always go and just pick. You know what I'm saying? Randomly, I picked Attack on Titan. I got to the scene where Aaron got eaten by one of the Titans. I dropped it. Hands down, I did not like it. So. I say I waited till like a whole year, a whole year, right? It's crazy, right? Crazy. I dropped the show for a year. And then I kept seeing people on Twitter, on Facebook, kept talking about it, talking about it. And um, back then also too, it was um, it was Tumblr. Back then it was Tumblr. So I was like, this show get down like that? So I picked it back up. I was hooked. Because I thought they killed off the main character, Aaron. You know what I'm saying? When he got aimed by the Titan. I swear, after that episode, I dropped it, bro. I dropped it. I did not want to look at it. Yeah, and ever since then, I've been hooked. Season two, three, four. <laughs> it's a hit. Like, for real. It they be snapping. What is your favorite anime, but what do you hate about him or her the most that you wish it could change? So, with this, I already said Naruto. <laughs> Naruto perfect for me, bro. <laughs> so, I'm going to go with Dragon Ball. Dragon Ball is my second favorite, right? So all all of the Dragon Ball series, Dragon Ball was a masterpiece. Dragon Ball Z was a masterpiece. The only the only issue, right? I even like Super. Su a hot take, right? Super, I find that um, it's just Dragon Ball Z, but revamped for today's generation and my generation can't get with it right because they so used to z but they got to understand like this it's like almost like the same type of feeling of i get the same feeling watching super as i watch z so i it don't it don't really mind it don't really phase me you had super saiyan one then you had super saiyan two yeah you, you got super saiyan god and super saiyan blue it's the same shit, bro it's the same thing it's just that this is my generation and this is the newer generation like I don't, it's a promotion. It's a business move, bro. I don't understand why people get so butthurt about that. But what will I change? The thing that I hate about Dragon Ball the most is fucking when they came out with Dragon Ball Z Kai and they got these people out here thinking that Kai is better than the original Dragon Ball. No, sir. When I tell you these kids, these newer, you know what I'm saying, ain't nothing wrong with it, but the newer anime fans, y'all was not there when Dragon Ball Z had the Bruce Falconer music, right? That music alone, mixing with the content was a whole different experience. I don't care what people say. I don't care if Kai is manga accurate. I don't care if Kai didn't have no no fillers, no nothing. It was straight to the point. I don't care about all that. This is before social media, before that. I mean, internet was out, but stuff won't really out there like that. This is when it was on TV. Every day when you get out of school, 5 o'clock, 5.30, Dragon Ball Z was on with that music, bruh. The old soundtrack just pieced it together. It was an experience, bro. I don't care if Goku charged up for three episodes. Frieza. <laughs> I don't care if they was fighting Majin Buu for three whole years. I don't care about none of that. But it was a masterpiece. The uncut version was a masterpiece. And I understood that uh, I think it was some legal issues with Bruce and whatever. So they got rid of it. But I'm not, bro, I hated Dragon Ball Z Kai with a passion because I did not want to hear none of them damn trumpets. I was like, it didn't have the same feel. It didn't have the same feel whatsoever. It was just, it was bland. It was boring. It was unseasoned, bro, for real. And the fact that people love Kai, I'm like, and the people that love Kai, they the ones that just started watching Dragon Ball. So they don't really understand what it was before even old dragon ball music like was still had like little sauce to it but kai i wish that shit was never i wish kai would have never been a thing bro uh, shout out zappy <clears throat> how many animes do you think you've seen now that's hard to uh that's hard to think because i've been watching anime since i was 
I've been watching anime before I even knew it was an anime. So, like, I don't know. All of the 90s shit, I have probably seen all of, most of the two, early 2000s. It's hard, you know what I'm saying? Like, it just come off the dome. Like, Yu Yu Hakusho, Ronin Kenshin, the old Hunter Hunter, the old JoJo's, uh, the Fist of the North, North Star, um, mo all of the Gunthams, uh, uh, Ninja Scroll, Astro Boy, uh, Lupin the Third, Cowboy Bebop, Outlaw Star, Big O, Tension Mule, um, Inuyasha, early 2000s, you got Samurai 7, um, Eureka 7, uh, Death Note, Code Geass. It's so, it's so much, bro. Like, I can't even name because I just went through, you know what I'm saying? I was little, I just watched it, like, to me, in my mind, I'm just thinking like, these are just like better ass cartoons than the regular stuff that I was watching. And you know, all the Toonami lineup, all the Dark Swim lineup, and also uh, anime used to used to be on the Sci-Fi Channel too. Uh, Four Kids, like Yu-Gi-Oh, Bakugan, Metabots, um, Pokemon, Digimon. Like, shoot, people don't even know that One Piece used to be on four kids. That's how, that's when I was watching One Piece. It's a whole bunch, man, I can't even name, bro. Then, then, then I went through a phase, like, I went through a phase when, like, like I mentioned earlier, like, Hulu used to have nothing but free anime. Um, That's when I watched, but Blue Exorcist, Witchblade, Claymore, Blue, uh, Cold Breaker, shoot, it's a whole bunch of stuff. I can't even, you know what I'm saying? That's just a little bit off the dome. But yeah, Full Metal, you know. I've seen that about 800 times. But yeah, what is your goal in life? So shout out. <laughs> I ain't even going to say that name, but hey, thank you for the question, though. What is your goal in life? My goal in life is to continue to create nothing but, you know what I'm saying? Just create. Just create. I'm a creator. You know, I, ever since I was little, I just been creating using these, you know what I'm saying? So as long as I'm creating, you know, I'm living, you know, and, and you know, just creating. Uh, and also too, like inspiring, like ever since I was little, I said, I have, I have friends in and out of my life, but the main thing is like, most of those people that left, they was only around me because they, they was inspired by me, so they wanted to take from me, and which they did actually took from me. So that's why I'm mainly, I'm mainly to myself. You know what I'm saying? So being a creative, being an artist, it gets lonely. You know, it gets lonely. But you know, my goal is to to continue to create and to continue to inspire others. You know what I'm saying? And to show my passion. And when I talk, you know, most people sometimes they go over their head, but so you gotta understand having that passion, bro. Like you don't see nothing else outside of your that vision, that tunnel vision. You don't see nothing else outside but straight. You know what I'm saying? Straight forward. Like you trying to get to. Sometimes, as a matter of fact, sometimes you don't even know where you're going. All you know is you, you're enjoying the journey, all the way up to where you're destined to be. So, hey, that was a good question, though. Uh, shout out to the Void Boys. Why? 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 Hey, so, oh, that's a good question, though. <laughs> Yo, okay, powers three. You can fly, but that's it. You don't have any other powers to protect you from harm. What would, could you do with this power? So, I could only fly, right? So, it's easy. So, I, if you seen the latest episode of My Hero, you see that boy Hawks is, is vicious, right? Hawks can fly, but he can manipulate his wings, right? Okay, so so take the so give me that power. Give me the, the ability to flight, right? But I don't need the wings, right? I don't need to manipulate my feathers from the wings. Just give me the power to flight. And also, I'm a train in martial arts like either Damian Wayne or Tim Drake or Deathstroke or uh, Deadpool, right? I'm a trainer in the martial arts, right? Bruh, 
flying and doing that. That's OP. What I come down and do a drop kick? You, you done? <laughs> you done, bro? Hey, I'm mixing flight with martial arts. What? And have weapons too? I can have weapons because that's not a power. You know what I'm saying? So I need something else. I'm gonna need something else. I'm gonna have a little plating armor. You know, I'm gonna have uh, I probably have some armor like. Okay, I'm gonna have some armor like say like Batman Beyond, something lightweight or like Tony Stark. You know what I'm saying? Okay, Tony Stark, for example, he got the nanobots, right? I go to somebody and make me some nanobot plating, right? So that way it's lightweight and I can fly and I got martial arts and weapons. Oh, I'm OP. I'm OP. I'm OP. Hey, shout out. That was a good question though. Hey, shout out uh, Zed. What is challenges you face every day? The challenges that I face every day is. Bro, staying up because I be tired as hell, bro. I legit work, 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 work. So I have a job. I have an actual career. I'm making content full time. So the challenges I face is, is like, it's time management. Like I will make my schedule for the whole week, and you know what I'm saying. I go about it, but it be tough because the time it be so weird, and it's just a lot of extra work because. Recording these reaction videos, you know, most people, I see some people say in the comments, it's easy, it's easy. It's not easy, bro. It take me literally like four to five hours to do one episode. So it take me about an hour to do an episode to record it. Yeah, that's easy. But editing, posting really takes the longest. You see what I'm saying? Because you, you're on Wi-Fi and it depends on where I'm at. You know what I'm saying? I'm always moving it. That might take forever to get one video out when I want to upload a batch of them. It's tough, especially on YouTube. Yo, bro, where you get those hoodies? Hey, hey, I'm glad you asked that question. Where did I get these hoodies? These right here? This right here? Oh, hold up, hold up, hold up. So, I got a brown one? Who say get this from? I got a brown one? Ichigo? You know what I'm saying? Bleach? What type of bleach? Then I got a Demon Slayer one. What? Tanjiro? Okay. Then I got a One Piece one. Okay. Then I got the first one. You know what I'm saying? Senpai with Yusuke on the back. I got Yusuke. Then I got more One Piece. And then I got Tokyo Ghoul, the newest one. And you can find all of this in my collection in my store, man. Stop playing. Stop playing. Link in bio. Link in bio. These right here. Hey, these redropping because people keep buying these out. You know what I'm saying? I'm restocking these. These is too fly, bro. And you can zip these up all the way too. You can zip these up. You can have a hollow mask. And then you got Tokyo Ghoul. You know what I'm saying? You get the mask too. You know, I see a lot of people try to, you know, they try to copy the style, but hey, hey, this the original. And then, hey, the shirts too, Demon Slayer shirts, what? And I got shorts too, bro. And I about to have sets. Oh, yeah. Yeah, Yang Gang, hey, I'm listing y'all up. I'm listing y'all up, bro. And they all affordable too. But yeah, hey, that's, that's the end of the video. If y'all want to ask me some more questions, y'all can either send it to me on TikTok. D DM me on Instagram too. That's another good way to uh, ask me questions. Ask questions on TikTok and comment under this video. You know what I'm saying? And put together something. Yeah, if y'all like this type of videos, y'all let me know. Uh, you can ask me anything. Um, but yeah, please share, like this video, comment, uh, sub, subscribe to the boy, you know, and follow the TikTok, you know, Yen family. We all, Yen family, y'all already know. All love. Thank you.